Episode 97, Toxway Game Land, Part 2. You know, alligators can live up to 100 years, so there's a very good possibility that you'll see them later, alligator. That was stupid. I think I could do better, but no, nah, I don't think I can. Hello, welcome to the 10-Minute Off-Road Podcast. I'm your host, Nikki G. I'm here to inform, entertain, and delight your ear holes with all things off-road for the next 10 minutes or so. Why 10 minutes? That's about how long I have until my uh, frozen pizza is done. And I'm not joking, I really do have a frozen pizza in the oven, so we better make this quick. You can follow 10-Minute Off-Road Podcast on all the popular social media platforms, as long as that means none of them, because I don't really do social media. Uh, We have a Twitter account, which is now X, and Instagram, and Facebook, and a YouTube channel. But never TikTok. You'll never see us on TikTok. You can reach out and touch the 10 Minute Off Road podcast at 1 Minute Off Road at gmail.com. That's 10 Minute Off Road at gmail.com. But the best way to get a hold of us is just uh, follow the YouTube channel. Leave a comment on one of our many fine videos because uh, we put this podcast, or I put this podcast, out on YouTube as a video. Which, yeah, podcast podcast makes good watching. So I did a Google search and I discovered that you can listen to the 10 Minute Off-Road podcast on, of course, Spotify, which hosts this fine podcast, Apple, Listener Notes, Amazon Music, Repanic, and Pocket Cast. And, and get this, sit down, you're going to want to grab a seat, you're not going to believe it, and iHeartRadio. Yeah, I submitted the RSS feed. Uh, they ex- approved it, and so now you can listen to it on iHeartRadio. Still waiting to hear from Pandora, but you know what? Screw Pandora. I don't think anybody listens to them anyhow. I think Pandora is a thing of the past. So when I did my Google search, I discovered that Feedspot, which I have never heard of that. I have no idea what that website is or what it does. They have the 10 Minute Off-Road Podcast in the top 10 off-road podcasts. Number 10 was Gear Talk. Never heard of them. Number nine was Classic 4x4. Number eight was the Four Wheel Drive Tribe. Number seven was 4x4 Canada. Number six, and get this, the 10 Minute Off Road Podcast. Number five is Hey, hey Big Mac, which I hope Big Mac is a person and not the delicious burger from McDonald's. Number four is the Dirt Drive. Never heard of that. Number three is Snail Trail. Now, if you haven't heard Snail Trail, uh, you should listen to it. It's it's a very interesting podcast. I listen to it all the time. Uh, they deal mostly with uh, Toyotas and stuff. And, and the, uh, God, I can't think of the guy's name. But he's out west. And uh, it's, it's very interesting. Him and, him and a buddy do the podcast. Uh, I enjoy it. I listen to it. I, I've called into it from time to time and gave my commentary comments and My yuck yuck jokes, but number two is the four wheel drive podcast, and number one is Speak Jeep, which with my sloppy handwriting, it looks like I wrote Spank Jeep. What I don't see on here is uh, the Jeep Talk Show, which I guess that's more of a Jeep podcast and not an off road podcast, although they do talk heavily about off road, Jeeps and off road. And you know, Speak Jeep is on there. I find this hard to believe that you have a top 10 list and the Jeep Talk Show is not on it. But 10 Minute Off-Road Podcast is. So apparently, I feel sorry for number 7, number 8, number 9, and number 10 because you guys must really suck if the G- if the 10 Minute Off-Road Podcast beat you out. All right, so now that I used up just about all my time, I want to talk about my trip to the Toxway gang la- Game Lands. I was talking about it last week. Didn't get time to finish. Went to Gorgeous State Park. Well, I went to my friend Camp and Randy's uh, Rigs and Coffee. Went to Gorgeous State Park. And then on the other side of Gorgeous State Park, you get the uh, Toxaway Game Lands. So, my trip into the Toxaway Game, Game Lands. To, to recap it real quick before I run out of time. The maximum elevation was 3,200 feet. The road in that I went in was 12 miles. And it wasn't a rough road. I did have to uh, take my sway bar links off because it it does have some ruts in it. It had 
uh, a pretty nasty hill climb to get out. When you're going in, it's it's a hill that you're sliding down. Getting out, you got to climb it. Uh, a lot of loose gravel. It was hard to do. Our stock four wheel drive shouldn't have any problem. Uh, have an alternative means of escaping if you can. A winch would be helpful, or somebody else that could that could help you out if you get stuck. So the road in, I'm kind of confused because when we entered the game lands, they had it was Auger Auger Hole Road, and it gave a it gave a set of dates that it was open, and then you get to the Horse Pasture River, and there's a real sketchy bridge that crosses the river, and there was a gate, and the gate said it's open from September 1st to January 1st. So I'm kind of confused about when the whole road is open because the two signs don't really jive. Uh, once you pass Horse Pasture River on Auger Hole Road, it takes you into uh, Muster Ground Road, which is only open in September through January or April, I think. It's open a limited time, and that's in South Carolina. Very possible that the, that the gate separating North and South Carolina probably might be permanently closed. Although there was a side road off of Auger Hall Road that took me into South Carolina, and there was no gate or anything there. I was briefly in South Carolina. Uh, the road dead ends in there, so I had to turn around and come back the way I came out. Can't remember the name of that little offshoot road, but there's only one or two offshoot roads off of Auger Hole Road, so it's not that hard to uh, find. So I hope that clears everything up about Toxway Game Lands. Uh, if you're going to go down there just for that, I don't think it's worth it. If you combine a couple of trips into it, if you spend a weekend in Gorgeous State Park, which it seems like there's quite a few things to do in Gorgeous State Park, and maybe spend a few hours exploring the game lands, well worth it. I'm glad I went. I'm going to go back and in September and try to cross this sketchy bridge. All right, so uh, I like to say I rambled on long enough, but I really haven't, and I don't have anything else to talk about. I was planning on talking more about Toxway Game Lands, but, man, it is what it is. All right, until next time, this is Nikki G saying, wheel what you got and be happy.